Hello, buddy. Welcome back to another episode of Just a Drone playing Celeste. I keep, once again, just, I, I'm so used to saying long titles that I'm not used to just saying a single word. Last episode, we began the game by doing the prologue and the first chapter by getting all the strawberries, the hidden heart, and also the B side cassette. We will not be doing the B sides. I will be first finishing all the, nor all the stages in their normal form, and then we'll go uh, and start doing the B sides. Let us begin with chapter 2, the old site. Strawberries will impress your friends, but that's about it. Only collect them if you really want to. I really want to, so... Ah, yes. Green fire. And this. Nothing to the left, okay. Unfortunate. Oh, I love this music. Um, let's go, I'm gonna show you something kind of insane. So whenever you transition from screens, so I'm gonna use a dash right now in the air. If you transition from screen, you get your dash back, which means that you can do something like this. Which is a, a little bit insane, but trust me, it is actually the thing that you're supposed to do. <laughs> so you're supposed to do this, and I fall down, and then another one, and then I can do it like this also. There you go. And this is where the hidden heart is. Resurrections! And let's go back down to the normal stage. Whee. You can also press down to, to drop even faster down if you want to. I haven't really found too much use for it, but it is something that you can do. Now, actually, I'm, no, no, now that I'm thinking about it, there are a couple of places where it might be a good idea to do that. So you cannot leave from over here, so you have to go down into this pit. For your information. Um, bum, bum, bum. I also have all of these things, which I can't really do anything with at the moment. I can break this thing, however. And get myself a strawberry as I fall into the pits. <laughs> into the pits. Right. I remember there I remember this being the first kind of difficult stage to get all of the like the second chapter is the difficult stage to get all the strawberries in the stage is a lot more open you have certain stages which are a lot more straightforward there's also some of them that are really open and then it's kind of difficult getting all the strawberries in them right. there's another one down here you also of course you know have to remember all this stuff which is also not easy And this is where the stage opens up. You can dash through these things, but if you dash through these things and bump into a wall, which I will try to show off, you will die. So you have to be able to exit from the other side, otherwise you will die. Right. right. There's also going to be a couple of hidden things, like this one over here. Let's see though, because I do remember there being a secret somewhere around here, which I missed earlier, or like in my original playthrough, I think. Oh, hello. <laughs> the B-side cassette. Right, I have to do this. I have a lot of difficulties with these platforms, and later in the game they will use them in... Well, there's a certain part in the game where they become pretty dang insane, so... Yay. Joyous occasions. Can't wait until I reach the difficult part of this game. But there's nothing over here. Now, I do remember there being... I really do remember there being a secret somewhere. Let me go and retrace my steps over here. Uh, I just do not remember where. not around here. Oh well, whatever. I don't see any other thing that could have, that, like, that could house a secret, so... I think I'll just continue. So, when it comes to these seeds over here, when you land, the seeds will go back to the original place. So the thing that the game expects you to do, 
is to grab all the seeds uh, without touching the ground. Once again, this one is relatively easy, but uh, I can definitely guarantee you that there is gonna be some pretty dang difficult ones. <laughs> I remember, I remember one very specific, very difficult one to get. Uh, let me go up here first, maybe. Okay, I have another idea. Yeah, going down, then back up. Bum, bum, ba, boom. Okay. Oh, but, uh. <laughs> Sometimes momentum is something very finicky, I feel. Well, maybe not finicky, but you have to figure out how it works. And it's not easy to figure out, in my opinion. This is the secret that I was thinking about. Really? <laughs> Thanks, game. Right, let's go and dash back to this. Um, I think I can do it like this also. It doesn't matter in which order I do this one. There we go. Got the strawberry. Can you actually see? No, you cannot. It's only after you've beaten the stage that you can see how many strawberries are still in the particular area that you're in. The areas are also divided by the checkpoints, basically. Right. And I, I, I'm not sure, but I don't remember the checkpoints existing in the first release of the game. Well, like, you wouldn't be able to see when you have reached uh, a checkpoint, I think. But I could be wrong about that. Also, sometimes I might just use skills by accident. Skills that you should learn later on, I might use by accident at some point. And yeah, you should just... Some people will notice it, the people who've, get, who've played the game will notice it, otherwise you won't notice it. But, uh, yeah. It's very difficult to not use certain skills once you've learned them. Learned them. God dang it. I'm gonna try not to do that. Just because I wanna... <laughs> just because I wanna kind of... Um, keep myself to the normal progression of the game and not really break a lot of things. It's not really my style. Oh well, we'll see. Madeline, darling, slow down. Who said that? Oh, I'm simply a concerned observer. Are you me? I'm part of you. Why would part of me look so creepy? This is just what I look like, okay? Deal with it. Sorry, I didn't mean... Forget about it. I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. But look, I'm worried about us. We need a hobby, but this... I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. You are many things, darling, but you are not a mountain climber. Who says I can't be? I know it's not your strong suit, but be reasonable for once. You have no idea what you're getting into. You can't handle this. That is exactly why I need to do this. Are you the weak part of me, or the lazy part? I'm the pragmatic part. And I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Let's go home. Together. Okay, so she's not gonna be reasonable, she's gonna kill you. <laughs> she's gonna follow your, basically your exact movements. And uh, when she touches you, you are a dead. So uh, yeah, deal with it. <laughs> That's what I would say. If you've ever played uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, you will know exactly how to deal with situations like this. Because in uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 there was a certain thing called... It wasn't Cosmic Clone. Or was it? Was it Cosmic Clones? I, I think it were... Co yeah, it were Cosmic Clones. Yeah, that's it. So... You used to have a thing called Cosmic clo cl Cloaks, yeah, no, clones, which would also mirror your movement and make certain missions very difficult. <laughs> I definitely remember absolutely hating every single one of those. But it also made, made it so that I learned how to deal with stuff like this. Sometimes it's easier to just stand still and wait for a moment or other things like... I don't know, it's difficult to explain. It's, it's a very specific way of playing that... I don't know, you just have to learn it. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's all I can say about it. Also, I, um, I'm i not the best when it comes to explaining stuff. 
So you might have excuse you might have to excuse me for a bit when I am unable to explain something. English is not my birth language, so explaining things has always been the most difficult thing for me in videos, which is a little bit shitty when you think about it because when you're giving commentary, sometimes you want to explain certain things, but then you just can't because you suck at English. Yeah. All right. Oh boy. God dang it. Okay, let's see how this is gonna go. There we go. Can I please get that? I was about to say, can I please get that strawberry? Also, once you've gotten a strawberry, you don't have to get it again. I think, in any case. Could be wrong about that, but I seem to remember that being a thing. Um. Um. All right. I do very much like the feeling that the game is portraying right now, where you're basically running away from. Uh... Well, just I feel like the the the. The situation where you have to run away from something is definitely one of the scariest things that can happen to you, in my opinion. It's also one of the things that a lot of people have nightmares from. Just getting chased. And I very much like the way that the game portrays this entire situation. But we'll get, once again, we'll get more into that later on. Into what this all means! The lore, people! No? I thought there was a secret over here. I hope that I got everything, but it could be that I haven't. I was about to say, like, am I supposed to control? No. <laughs> Hello? Madeline? Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah? No, wait! You called me! What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. I'm being chased by someone. I don't really understand what's going on, but I know I'm in danger. I can feel it. Madeline, you only call when you're when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You don't have to make up some ridiculous story just to get my attention. I'm not making it up. You always do this. Shh, it's alright. Calm down. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. I'm climbing Celeste Mountain. Found this old mirror and it shattered. Part of me escaped and... I'm dreaming, aren't I? Madeline, of course you're dreaming. I haven't spoken to you in months. Why would I start now? Why am I even climbing this stupid mountain? I'm wondering the same thing. It's time to give up and go home. And now we're back over here. Nothing to the left. <laughs> Keep thinking that there's something to the left. <sighs> this music, by the way. This music. I see <clears throat> Hey, Madeline. You made it. Climbing up here was tough, but totally worth it. Just look at these ruins. I took so many, uh, so many great picks. Wanna see? Oh, sure. See you, these are great. Maybe I'll finally get a thousand followers with these. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm, I was about to say something, but maybe not. Oh, we need to formally commemorate this occasion. Take a selfie with me. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea right now. Come on, it's easy, like this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't worry, I won't post that one. No, it's alright. You can post it. I'm just not photogenetic. Or phono phono photogenic. Genic, Jesus. Madden, don't be so hard on yourself. No one looks good without a filter. Casual yet refined. <laughs> I love him. 
What made you want to try photography? My grandpa was really into it. Apparently it was semi-famous in the photography world. I don't know if I'll ever be that good at it. But it's nice to feel close to him. So you're determined to climb the entire mountain? Yeah, I told myself I would. I'm done breaking promises to myself. Life goals, I dig it. I doubt I'll make it to the top like you, but I'm not ready to turn back just yet. Are you getting any date up here? I don't have a smartphone. Madeline? I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> That's the end of the conversation. <laughs> oh, I love Theo, he's such a... Such a chill dude. Alright. I feel all like ugh, this once again the music people after that hectic shenanigans and it being a dream a bad dream you know what? this music very much displays um, waking up after a bad dream in my opinion where everything is just quiet and you're very confused about what happened Sometimes you will have to dash at the ends to get these flying strawberries, so... As long as you can grab them before they fly away, it's fine, but... Most of the time you're not supposed to dash. Or, and if you dash, it's usually at the end. Nothing over here. I really hope that I got all the strawberries, but... I guess we'll see. Also thought I forgot that this part of the stage existed. Hello? Hey, Mom. Madeline, what a nice surprise. How's your trip? It's okay, I'm just kind of overwhelmed. Oh no, are you having another panic attack? Focus on your breathing, honey, I'm here. What's going on? So, did I get all the strawberries? I do not remember how many are in, there are in here. Oh, yes, nice. Okay, so. Now that we have a little bit of a better idea about what is... What is happening with Madeline, basically. Or what one of the things that Madeline is struggling with. It's panic attacks and anxiety. And uh, if you haven't noticed it quite yet, this game is about climbing a mountain. Which is a representation of overcoming a certain difficult challenge. Mainly... In this case, it's it's definitely about overcoming your fears and uh, being able to deal with your whatever the hell you have, really. In this game, it's very specifically fear and anxiety and panic attacks and all that jazz. And um, it relates very much to me. Last time I played this game, I was still very much trying to figure out how to deal with everything, I would say. But now everything is fine, really. I've started my life again, I am working again. Not fully quite yet, but I am starting to work again. I'm basically starting to crawl out of my... out of my cave. Basically. It's amazing, it's an amazing feeling. And uh, yeah, this game, when I originally found it, it came at a pretty good timing. Because it taught me something very important. Which we will get to later on. Aside from that, I love this game. It definitely represents the feel of having... Just, yeah. The, the entire progression in this game just feels like overcoming overcoming your issue and since I've since I'm basically at the end of overcoming mine I can definitely see a lot more like it's it's insane how relatable this is to people who have anything when it comes to anxiety or panic shenanigans or fear in general so if you uh, are still here <laughs> at this point if you yourself are struggling with it I, of course, you have to like the gameplay in a certain way, but I feel like this game is a. If you if you don't want to play it yourself, you can follow along with the playthrough. Um, but yeah, this game talks of like. The, yeah, I cannot say it any uh, any different really. This game just shows you the progression of dealing with anxiety and dealing with a psychological issue in a certain way. Because it it may it may also apply to different things, but it's mainly applying to fear and uh, anxiety. So I'm gonna keep this short. I think yeah, I'm just gonna keep it a 20 minute video. The next stage is pretty long, so 
Hope you enjoyed this episode of just how I was playing Celeste. <laughs> I keep forgetting that there's... I keep thinking that there's more coming, but there's nothing. It's just Celeste. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to go and tackle the hotel. <laughs> Goodbye.